finally got the edge off. See, we got all the wood, and now the whole nope. cutout is exposed me, there. Oh, I'm gonna hand you a piece of coal, and I'll okay. get you to set it uh, set it, set it aside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Okay, now they're, they're not that bad. This is not that bad. These are definitely not Africanized bees. They would be much, much uh, more upset than this. All right, if I hand that to you, will you set that down over there by on the. Yeah. Okay, we're down to some brood. There's, uh, there's some drones right there emerging. Let's look and see what color the drones are. Uh, there, actually, there, I got a little bit of a lighter color abdomen. There may be some Italian in here, I don't know. Look at that honey dripping there. Oh my goodness. 20 years is right. Yeah, I, he's not exaggerating. Yeah, these have been here for a lot of years, and they've, whoops, they've probably been here since before. Okay, can you handle that one? I hope so. All right, watch out, honey dripping everywhere, try not to. Okay, now we've got some larva, some larva here. Oh, look at this, queen cell right there, perfect. Found a queen? Yeah, we, well, we found a queen cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a section out right here. Um, uh, they've got a queen cell that's superseding right now, and it's sealed over. Uh, that might be a good thing for us. It might not. Might mean the queen's already swarmed, and there's no queen in this. So, and there's pollen there. All right. Now, someone would hand me a middle bar frame. I'll sandwich this piece in it with that queen cell on there. Those are beautiful. Look at that queen cell right there. Okay. Uh, all right, let's set it down on the bucket there. Just set it right down on the bucket. Okay, perfect. Now hand me another dowel if you would. Okay, thank you. All right, well this is good. This, uh, this will uh, mean we are, aren't that far away from a uh, new queen. We've already got one underway. That's good news. All right, so there's my queen cell in the... I'm gonna cut this piece off. Hate to waste that good honey there, but... All right. This comb's pretty old. That's some pretty old, dark, tough old stuff. They've been here a long time. Okay, so there's my queen cell and a middle bar frame, and I'll put this in. Uh, I'll put this in this nuke right here, and these bees should be happy. Are those okay. darker bees? Uh, hand me this. Uh, there we go. Oh no, they're uh, more. They they're blonder and they're shorter, right? Yeah, they're a little bit bigger. What I have here, I wrote on this one trailer, so we'll know. I'm going to put one more piece in this. And then we'll start cutting the rest of them out. You think there's more than one queen in here? Well, if they're in the process of superseding, yeah, there should be a mother and a daughter in there. So that could very well be the case. And then the rest of the hive is just yeah, bees. Right, just worker bees, yep. So this could populate the entire valley. Well, they, yeah, they could send out swarms. Uh, the amount of comb and how long they've been in here, considered, uh, they've probably been here since before, before the Africanized bees even moved into this area. All right, we're getting there. We're having to trim this up a bit to make it fit the frame. Okay, hand me another dowel. Use these like windshield wipers. My friend calls them windshield wipers. Move out of the way, bees, here, so we don't smash them. I didn't know about anybody in planting. Okay, here we go. There's no one. Those frames are much better for this. Yeah, they work pretty slick.
Uh, I would say these bees are fairly gentle. We're, we're not having a lot of trouble. I mean, yeah. it's no problem uh -huh. so far. Yeah, that's great. This is a fun event. This is worth doing. Uh -huh. So I'm cutting into honey at the top. And I don't want to get a whole lot of honey in here because it's going to stick the bees together. and. How do you avoid the honey? Oh, uh, well, so typically the bees will put honey above the brood. Okay. And so you've noticed on these that there's honey up on top, on top. and then the brood is right below it. Okay. So if I cut down and leave that honey up there, then I won't stick all these bees down so bad that we kill them. Right. So we didn't quite get done with the cutout. Uh, it's a lot of bees, a lot of comb. Um, so we're at dark right now. The bees start to crawl when it's dark, so we're going to start getting stung. So far, these bees are really nice. I'm not the least bit worried about these being Africanized. So we're going to come back tomorrow and keep after it. This is what our kids are doing while we're keeping bees. <laughs> Wild and free. We're out of smoker fuel, burlap anyway, so we're going to use tumbleweeds for smoker fuel. <laughs> well, you just uh, found another queen cell, and it hasn't been capped over yet. So you can still see the larva inside there. She's floating in royal jelly. So this is perfect. This is what we want, because now we know that if somehow the queen is lost in this cutout, we've got a replacement for her right here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, now I gotta keep this in the shade. Uh, I gotta find some place to put this where I won't damage it. So let's put it right in this hive over here. Uh, then you know for sure it's gonna have a yeah, queen. Yeah, then I know it's got bees covering it. They can keep it cool. Cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, they, keep, they keep it cool by buzzing around, yeah, uh, can flapping fan the it, wings. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we'll put it in this frame here. I'm gonna need to. From the beginning, I was. I mean, Stefan. Take general. my gloves off here. Uh, it's too delicate to do with gloves. Take a on. chance. Yeah. Jennifer, when you were talking about all this, I was like, we we love fooey because it's not going to happen, Jennifer, not here. Not here. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Somebody else saying something. So you're putting it in there between those bars. Huh? Right, I'm going to sandwich this in between the middle cool. bars. So you cut a little bit above the queen cup so you could do that. Right, so I'm not damaging the queen cup. And you're just moving slowly and carefully. Carefully there. So now it's still facing down. We want the want it orientated down. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, the bees are friendly. They are. They're being nice to me right now. So now oh we no. have that queen cup there, we can get a new queen out of that. That is neat. Okay. Is that rare? Is that we uh, yeah, well, or it's lucky. I wouldn't say rare, but it's lucky. Yep. Yeah. So a lot of times when you do these cutouts, we kill some bees, and, and sometimes the queen just doesn't make it. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, insurance that she's going to. So I'm happy about that. Wow. This is going to be in the sunlight now, so it's hot. I want to move it into the shade, so I'm going to move it on the other side of the trailer here. If you want to harvest honey, if that's your objective in keeping bees, then, mm -hmm. of course, uh, it's easier to harvest the honey out of a hive with a removable frame. Then you could spin the honey out or cut the honey out rather than have them someplace like this in the rocks or the trees or the trailer. Uh, it's easier to get to the honey. All right, I'm using the uh, uh, turkey feather as a bee brush. Works pretty good. That does make a mad. <laughs> We're cutting out now some honeycomb. The brood is over here and they're, they're storing honey in this part over here. So we're gonna cut out some comb and eat it. The comb is really soft because of the heat. Right, so it's dripping all over. We'll get it to get the bees off and in the back here as quick as we can. Well, I've modified this hive tool into a kind of a knife. Okay. That How did you do that? I uh, just uh, I cut it with a grinder and sharpened it. <clears throat> so uh, just a, a regular knife is what you'll need rather than your hive tool. We're 
we're dripping honey all over. <clears throat> we don't want to drip a whole lot of honey in the in the uh, box because then the bees get too stuck on a hot day like this, then we kill a bunch of bees. So it'd be nice to leave the bees with their honey, right? They need it, but I can't really do that and go down a bumpy dirt road on a really hot day and not have honey all over and killing bees. So we're taking the brood and the honey separately. All right, here comes another big chunk. Mark, just grab this piece right here. Yeah, that piece. Got there you two, go, and I'll cut it loose. Two at a time. All right, there we go. Now is when you need an assistant. Okay, that should come loose. Let's take the bee brush to it. There we go. Okay, now let me brush the bees off. All right, pull it apart there, and uh, we'll flip it over. There we go. Get the bees off there and put that in. We got uh, most of the brood, uh, most of the honey, all of the brood out. We've got them in two boxes. There's enough brood to split up three or four frames each in a 10 frame box. And then down here is just mostly wax, uh, empty comb. And so this is easy to cut out. We don't uh, have to take uh, so much time to do it. Uh, we've about got it uh, completed. And then the real work begins. We've got to put the trailer back together. Okay, we've got most of the comb out. We need to scrape most of the wax off the stuck to the wood still, but uh, then the bees won't return. But we've got all the comb out. I've placed this box where the entrance was right here, so any of the bees that are flying today will come back and go into this box. This bee, this box has more bees in it than this one, but by the time all the bees in the air are in, it should be even. It's got a few frames of brood. Um, so we just got to convince the bees to vacate the trailer now and move into their new home. 